Next class of anti-epileptic drug is ethosexamate. Mechanism of action of ethosexamate is this drug will act at T-type calcium channel. So by acting at T-type calcium channel, it will block the calcium channel. So there will not be any impulse generation and transmission. There will not be any seizure. So that is the mechanism of action of ethosexamate. Now coming to the adverse drug reaction, it may produce anorexia and gastrointestinal intolerance, tiredness, mood changes, agitation, headache, drowsiness and inability to concentrate. These are the important adverse drug reactions of ethosexamate and this is only used in case of absent seizure. So that is the use of ethosexamate. Now coming to next class of drug that is the valproic acid. It is available as sodium valproate in different brand name like valpro, uh, incoronate, chrono etc. Now coming to the mechanism of action, valproic acid will act at two synapses that is inhibitory as well as excitatory synapse and it have three different type of mechanism of action. First mechanism, it will block the sodium channel opening. Frequency dependent prolongation of sodium channel inactivation will be blocked. So it will prolong the closing or inactivation stage of sodium channel. So there will not be any depolarization. There is no neurotransmission and there is no seizure. And in case of inhibitory synapse, it will facilitate GABA action. So GABA mediated chlorine channel opening will be occur. It will lead to hyperpolarization. There it will not produce any impulse generation and transmission and it will lead to no seizure. And also it will inhibit T type calcium channel and it will block the calcium channel. There is no impulse generation and transmission and there is no seizure. So this is the mechanism of action of valproic acid. Now coming to the adverse drug reaction, it may produce alopecia or curling of hair, weight gain, increased bleeding tendency. It is also produced teratogenic. It will cause fetal abnormality if it is administered to in pregnant woman. It will produce uh, spina bifida as, as well as other neuronal tube defects. And it will also cause hepatotoxicity. So it may cause liver damage uh, for prolonged use. Then it may produce GI uh, symptoms like anorexia, vomiting, loose motion and heartburn and drowsiness, ataxia, tremor or dose related CNS effects. So important area is alopecia or curling of air and as well as teratogenic. So that is the valproic acid. Now coming to drug interaction. It may increase plasma level of phenobarbitone and lamotrigine by inhibiting their metabolism. It may displace phenytoin from protein binder site and decrease its metabolism. Uh, so it may lead to phenytoin toxicity. It may inhibit the hydrolysis of active epoxide metabolize, metabolize of carbamazepine. And concurrent administration of clonazepine and valproate is contraindicated because the absent uh, because the absent status may be precipitated and fetal abnormality are common if valproate and carbamazepine are given concurrently. So these are the important drug interaction of sodium valproate. Now coming to uses, it is used to treat absent seizure, myoclonic and atonic seizure and also used for the treatment of mania and psychological condition and use for the treatment of bipolar disorder and as well as the treatment of migraine prophylaxis. So that is the uses of valproic acid. Now coming to clonazepam which will come under the classification of benzodiazepine. So we had discussed in detail about the mechanism of action ADR and uses of benzodiazepine in hypnotics topic. 
So it will potentiate the GABA induced chlorine influx to produce the sedation and the, the same mechanism will also responsible for the anti convulsion property. So in short we can say the mechanism of action of clonazepam is binding with the GABA A receptor chlorine channel macromolecule at alpha and beta subunit interface. It will facilitate GABA action, inhibitory action of GABA will be uh, facilitated thereby it will increase the frequency of chlorine channel opening induced by GABA and it may produce membrane, membrane hyperpolarization and it will lead to CNS depression or it will inhibit the uh, sorry it will uh, potentiate the GABAergic inhibition in the CNS and it will lead to uh, uh, prevention of seizure. So there will not be any seizure by using clonazepam. Now important adverse drug reactions are sedation and dullness, lack of concentration, irritability, temper and other behavioral abnormality may occur in children. Motor disturbances, ataxia are dose related adverse drug reaction, salivation and increased respiratory secretion. These are the important adverse drug reactions of clonazepam. And this is mainly used for the treatment of absent seizure. It is also useful uh, in adjuvant with myoclonic and akinetic epilepsy. Uh, also have some benefits in infantile spasm. So these are the uses of clonazepam. Now coming to next group of drug that is lamotrigine. Mechanism of action, it will prolong sodium channel inactivation as that of phenytoin and other drug and it will suppress high frequency firing. So it will act at the excitatory synapse and it will prevent the excitatory neurotransmission and also it will inhibit the glutamate and aspartate neurotransmitter release from the synapse. And adverse drug reactions are Stephen Johnson syndrome, sleepiness, dizziness, diplobia, ataxia and vomiting and it is mainly used for the treatment of absent and myoclonic or akinetic epilepsy. Now coming to next class of drug that is GABA pending. It is an GABA release enhancers. So it will uh, increase the release of GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So it will facilitate the inhibitory action of GABA by enhancing the release of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. So rest of the action will be same as that of uh, drugs which will act at the gabinergic site. Now another class of drug that is pregabalin which is a conquer of gabapentin which is mainly used in uh, a neuropathic pain such as diabetic nephropathy, post uh, therapeutic neuralgia, complex regional pain syndromes and certain other type of chronic pain along with the antiepileptic action. So that is the action of GABA pending. It will act at uh, uh, GABAergic releasing action. Now another drug is Vigabatrin, which is a uh, drug which will inhibit the GABA transaminase. So this enzyme is responsible for the degradation of GABA. So by uh, inhibiting GABA transaminase, it will inhibit the degradation of GABA. So it will potentiate the uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter effect, GABAergic affection will effect will be facilitated. Now another uh, drug is Tiagabin which will act by uh, inhibiting GABA reuptake from the synaptic site. So that is the mechanism of action. It will act by inhibiting GABA reuptake at the synapse. So that is the mechanism of action of Tiagabin. So GABA is the same as the action of the GABA transporters thirich, neurotransmitter and the lotene, means uh, neuron and the end of the reuptake. So that is the block and the Tiagabin and the drug. So that is uh, the uh, anti-epileptic drugs. These are the some choice of anti seizure drug for the treatment of generalized tonic, clonic and simple partial or uh, without partial generalization. First choice of drugs are carbamazepine and phenytoin. Second choice are valproate and phenobarbitone. 
for the treatment of complex partial with the without the generalization carbamazepin valproate and phenytoin are important drugs for the treatment of absent seizure valproate the first choice aprosexamide is the second choice of drug myoclonic seizure valproate the first choice and lamotrigin and topiramate are second choice of drug and for the treatment of atonic seizure valproate the first choice and febrile cirrhosis uh, seizures febrile seizure diazepam uh, by rectal route is the first choice of drug and for the treatment of status epilepticus lorazepam and diazepam are the first choice of drug so that is all about the anti epileptic drugs so in this for part of video we had discussed about the introduction to epilepsy and what are the different types of epilepsy what are the classification of anti epileptic drugs and what are the mechanism of action in general at the synaptic as well as those um, excitatory synaptic and inhibitory synaptic uh, synapses and different important drugs like phenobarbitone carbamazepine phenytoin clonazepam valproate ethoxamide and gabapentin so hope it is clear thank you for watching this video